So I've been looking very carefully at um, the idea of objects of art being mirrors, something that reflects back to the viewer. And I've been contemplating and arising questions in myself about the process involved in creating these mirrors. And if it is a case that the object, the created object, finalized and finished, is a mirror, then how much manipulation or how much influence, personal influence, emotional baggage does the artist as creator of the mirror bring to the um, the object and does this in any way help a viewer hinder the viewer what does it do is it necessary should the artist be more anonymous um, these are the contemplations I have with um, these recent works that I've been doing. So there are a few questions I have and develop um, as I look into this um, three-way relationship between the artist creating the object then the object becoming a mirror for the viewer. And in that three-way relationship, in that three-way communication, you have multiple levels of mirroring and projection going on. I'm curious, what would happen if the projection of the artist creating the object was kept to a minimum? As in, the storyline, <coughs> the the blurb of the artist, their life story, all these things, if that's kept to a minimum, if there was a sense of anonymity with the objects, what happens then? What And this was done over a period of time. What, what would that do for the viewer? Would that create more of a space for this communication between the object and the viewer to develop further? If the context was given to the viewer that the piece was there fundamentally as a mirror for them to mirror back, what would be the outcome for the viewer? What would be the outcome for the object? And what would be the outcome for the artist? Is it necessary for us to have, as artists, to have these storylines CVs, this self-promotion, this grooming that goes on. There's a, a grandiose notion of the artist communicating to the public through their medium. There's a separation in this, I feel. Is there not a separation there? That sometimes the artist is made to be, and the gallerist is made to be an authority on the human condition, merely down to the fact that they have created this object. Is there not a sense of patronizing in that? Is that not off-putting for a viewer who wishes to commune and wishes to be involved in the conversation, be it that that conversation is internal and private to themselves? Do we hinder this process with our projections of me as artist, you as viewer? These are the questions I, I'm, I'm contemplating and looking at with these recent works.